Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to my channel, consider subscribing and giving this video a like. In today's video, guys, I wanna share with you my medical school med kit. And having a med kit in medical school is absolutely essential and it is required, um, whether you purchase it from the school or you purchase all the individual components of it on your own. But before we get started with the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that I just finished my first medical school exam and it was a doozy. It was pretty hard, you guys. Um, I totally wasn't expecting it to be that difficult. And I feel like it wasn't difficult in the sense of the content, but if this makes any sense, it was more difficult in the way they were asking the questions. The nice thing about the exam though was that we actually got our score right after we took it. So I knew immediately that I passed my first medical school exam. And let me just tell you guys, thank goodness that I am on a pass fail system. And so if you guys want to know more about my first med school exam, leave me a comment down below. I'd be happy to make a whole separate video on like my first week of medical school or my first medical school exam. So just drop a comment down below and we can definitely make that happen. And so like I said, when you go to medical school, you're gonna be practicing how to become a good physician. And one of the things that you're gonna be doing is practicing on your other classmates with your med kit. And so today I just wanna show you guys the individual components that go into a med kit for a medical student. And then I wanna make sure that you guys know that all of the things I'll be sharing, I'll put the the links down below in the description so that if you guys want to purchase the same items for your med kit if you're in medical school or if you're planning on going to medical school in the future um, you'll have all of those links down below So one of the most important things and probably the most iconic item that will be in your med kit is a stethoscope. I got my stethoscope from my fiance and her family and it really was a gift for getting into medical school. So the stethoscope I have is the Lippmann Classic 3. So that is your typical uh, medical student stethoscope. They are really well made and some people actually do the Lippmann Cardiology stethoscope but as a medical student that's really not necessary. So I would just stick with the Classic 3 and this this one is also a lot cheaper. Um, so you can find these for like between $70 to $110 and they're like super customizable. So you guys can get like different colors of tubing. You can change the color of the metal and then you can also get your name engraved on the metal. So then if you lose it, like in lab or lecture, somebody knows who it actually belongs to. So if you can get a stethoscope gifted to you as like a way of saying congratulations for getting into medical school, that is definitely the best way of doing it because it's free for you. But if you do end up buying your own, definitely check out the links down below and you can find a pretty affordable price down there. All right, so the second component and probably the most expensive part of your med kit is gonna be your otoscope and your ophthalmoscope. Now, I purchased mine separately, so everything in my med kit I didn't get from the school. So my school sells their own med kit and I opted to not purchase theirs because theirs was obviously more expensive. It was about $850. And everything I bought for my med kit was probably right around five to 550. So I saved a good $300 doing it on my own. And so the otoscope and the ophthalmoscope that I got are the Welch Allen. Um, so Welch Allen is a really well-known name brand for these types of things. And so I highly recommend if you can afford it, go for a Welch Allen because in the end, even though you're not gonna be using it that much in medical school or even throughout your career as a physician, it's really nice to have a nice otoscope and ophthalmoscope ophthalmoscope that you can have at home. So if someone you know, like a family member or a friend, you know, needs to come and see you because they're sick or they have an ear infection or something wrong with their throat, you have the proper tools to be able to evaluate them just simply in your home. And so let me open this up for you guys so that you can actually see what they look like. So this is my ophthalmoscope. This is what you would use to give someone an eye exam. So if you just turn this on right here, you can see that there's a pretty bright light that you would use to actually look through someone's pupil. And then you actually use this eyepiece back here to look through and it kind of magnifies and brightens everything up because you're looking in such a dark space, which is in the eye. And then this is the otoscope. 
And then this also has a light. So if you just turn that, then you can see that there's a light. And then you would look through back here. And then this is actually used to look inside people's ears and their nose, use it to look in their back of their throat. So there's a lot of uses for an otoscope, but the majority of the time, you're gonna be using this to look into somebody's ear. So like I said, these are very expensive. So this particular set is actually called the Welch Allen 92820 and it is a pocket scope. So it's pretty small. Um, as you can see um, how it fits in my hand, um, it's very comfortable, it's very like heavy and feels very durable. Um, so I highly recommend this set. I got mine for about $490 off of readingmedical.com. So I'll put that link in the description as well so that if you guys wanna purchase this particular set, um, the link will be down in the description for your convenience. All right, so the third thing that you guys are gonna need for your med kit is a blood pressure cuff. Now, you guys all know what blood pressure cuffs are used for, um, and so I'm not gonna really explain it, but this is the one I got. Um, this is a blood pressure cuff that my fiance used in nursing school, and she simply just gave it to me to use now that I'm in medical school. Um, so I didn't have to pay anything for this, but you can find some really affordable blood pressure cuffs on Amazon. Um, and then there's also sites like allheart.com and Reading Medical. And so when you guys need to buy a blood pressure cuff, you can check out those two sites or you can always get it off of Amazon. All right, so the fourth thing that you guys are gonna need for your med kit is a tuning fork. Now this specifically is called a 512 tuning fork. Um, there's another one, it has big knobs on the side but my school only required the 512, and if hopefully you guys can see that okay. And honestly, as a physician, you're really not gonna use this that much unless you're like a neurologist or an ENT doctor, um, but it's really good to know how to use it, and that's exactly why we need one for medical school. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is probably the thing that you're gonna use the most during medical school, um, and that's your reflex hammer. So I got this reflex hammer off of Amazon for like five or six bucks. Um, so I definitely recommend just going on Amazon and getting yourselves one of these. Um, you guys obviously know what these are used for. The most common thing is to check your patellar reflex, which is right below your kneecap. Um, but there's also other reflexes like in your arm and in your ankle. So there are other places where you're gonna be using this. Um, and personally, I haven't learned all of the uses for it. But in the end, my dad was telling me that he doesn't even use a reflex hammer anymore. He's an ER physician. He just uses the, um, the bell of his stethoscope. So you can use this, basically anything that's kind of hard and can be used to whack a tendon basically. All right, so we're almost done. There's two more items that you're gonna need in your med kit and the next one is going to be an eye chart. So the eye chart is something you guys have all seen before. I'm sure you guys have had to use one of these when you were getting your driver's license at one point. Um, I know for me, my eyes are not very good so I've actually had to go to an optometrist before and get my pupils dilated and get my eyes checked. And I actually had to use one of these as well. Or should I say, I had to have one of these used on me. And so the one I have, I got it off of Amazon as well. Mine is double-sided. Um, so you have this side, which I honestly don't know what it's for yet because we haven't used this in medical school yet. Um, but obviously this one is your traditional side. And then honestly down here, I'm not sure what the red and the green are for, but I'm assuming it's to check to see if you're red, green, colorblind, but I could be completely wrong about that. So definitely don't hold me to that, but this is something that you guys are gonna need in your med kit. Okay, so the last thing that you guys are gonna need for your med kit for medical school is a pupil light. So if you just click it, boom, you got a light. And then on here on the side, it actually shows you the different sizes your pupil can dilate to. And essentially this is to check your pupil reflex. And I'm sure it has to do with your optic nerve, which is one of your cranial nerves. 
Um, but I'm not 100% sure on that because I'm still a first year medical student, but it just makes sense, right? But one of the coolest things about using one of these lights is that if you shine it in one eye, the opposite eye should also dilate. So even though the other eye doesn't have light shining on it, it will still dilate. And that's one of the tests that this thing will be used for, as well as to just see if the pupils do dilate and constrict when a light source is used. So guys, those are all of the instruments that I have in my med kit, and, and those are all of the things that I'm required to have and to bring to lab each week. Um, your school may be different. I just wanted to show you guys um, my med kit and the things that I'm using as a medical student in order to practice being a doctor essentially. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful and interesting. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Like I said, the links to all of these instruments will be down in the description. So if you guys need to purchase a med kit, make sure to go down below and use our links because they do help the channel. And I will see you guys in our next video.